Hi, I'm Chris at Idea7, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a block-based editor to program your Idea7 robot. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing I'll do is open a new tab, and I'll search for easy coding, easy coding, and this is going to take me to a, a website um, from a a computer science teacher in Tunisia who has taken some open source code um, and, and and there are there are two big open source um, block based editors one is from MIT and it's called scratch and the other one is um, called blockly and it's from Google um, and there there are other options um, but those are the two big ones, and and then based on those, there are literally hundreds of um, spinoff projects that are that are either based on Scratch or based on Blockly. Now this one is based on Blockly, and um, this teacher happens to have made it. Um, you you specifically set up for the ESP32, which is the processor that your robot uses. So this is a really good option and it's very simple because you don't have to install anything that you haven't already installed, it, assuming that you've already installed the Arduino operating or the Arduino IDE, uh, the text-based editor from our previous video. Okay, so without further ado, I'll click on ESP32 and I want to point out a couple things here. One is um, he has put together some pretty good video tutorials. Um, so we have standalone tutorials, meaning the robot is not connected to a network. Um, it's just all operating all by itself. Um, and in these videos, you'll you'll find things like uh, you know a Blinky that I'll I'll, I'll show you a Blinky uh, example in in just a minute and touch sensors and temperature sensors and photoresistors and servos and PWM. So lo lots of uh, good examples. Um, and, and almost all of those are relevant to robotics. Um, and then if we go back, um, then there's, then there's uh, network examples using the Wi-Fi antenna. Um, so a as an example, you know, if you wanted to control your robot with a, um, where is it? Yeah, there we go. With an with your Android device, um, this is a cool one. So you can use MIT App Inventor, and uh, this this block based editor, and you can tie those two things together, and you can have an app on your smartphone. And when you click a button on your smartphone, it will make your robot do something. Um, and that's pretty cool. Um, so if you really, if you want to dig in and really get into some extra capability, um, but you're not quite ready for the heavy text-based programming, um, check these out. There's a lot of really, really uh, cool options. Um, okay, let's jump right into the, I'll go back and we'll click here on this link. You can start coding by following this link, okay? And it will open, it will open the editor in the browser, okay? And I'm gonna show you, um, I'll show you how you would go about setting up a Blinky program, you know, the, the program that we did in the last video that just turns an LED on and off. I'll show you how you would do that in this block-based editor. Okay, so I go to the in and out tab here and digital. And I want a digital write block. And it just, see how it snaps in there? I just hold it and it snaps in. Um, and I, and I, I actually need two of those. So I will, you can either right click and hit uh, duplicate or you can use your keyboard shortcuts and uh, control C, control V uh, like this, control C and then control V, 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 right? Like that. 
um, or I don't need that many, obviously. I think that's obvious. So we'll kill all those. All right, and now I need a, um, remember in our other program we had a pause between turning the LED on and turning it off. Um, and so we need a pause, and that you'll find that in the uh, various section here. So click on various, and then it's the first one here, delay. Okay, so we need that, and then that. Need another delay, and that. There we go. Now, we're almost done, just like that. But before we're done, we have to change a few options. So we'll, we, uh, we change the pin to D5, that's digital pin 5, and that's the pin on your robot that blinks the blue LED. And pin 5. Now 1 will be high. Remember that's high voltage or low voltage. Um, and you, you might just say on or off, right? So this is in the main loop. So what happens is um, it makes the pin high. It waits, it makes the pin low, it waits, it loops back, makes the pin high, and then waits, and on and on and on. And so you can see that that would make the LED blink on, off, on, off, and just keep going. Okay, now what's really what I really like about this editor is if I click this code tab right here, I can see the actual text-based code that this generates. And what's good about that for education, in my opinion, is I, I'm not just isolated to this arbitrary um, programming language that isn't really how you would program as a professional programmer. I get to see the real code that this is generating. Um, and and that, that is a good way to learn, I think. Um, so now what do I do? Now I, I click this uh, red button that looks like a, a YouTube play button. So I click that and it says, what would you like to name your file? And I can name it anything I want, but one catch, it needs to not have any spaces. Okay? If, if, I, if I put spaces in the name, it will save, but I'll have problems later on when I try to load it on the robot. Okay, so I'm going to call this Blinky, and that's good enough, and I hit OK. And as soon as I hit OK, it downloads, it downloads my program. Boom, just like that. And now all I have to do is click on that program to open it, and it will try to start the Arduino IDE, and it will give me this warning that says, hey, if you want to open up a, a sketch file, it has to be in a folder with the same name. And um, they are nice enough to set it up so that that will automatically fix itself. So if I hit OK, it puts that file in a folder for me, and here I am. And now all I have to do is click Upload. So I, I've already connected my robot. Um, connected connected my robot to the computer and now I click upload and I wait maybe I draw a picture um, twiddle my thumbs and soon enough we should see about now that it will start uploading now right now any second now there it goes. Okay. Uh, and so there you go. And now it's done uploading. And looking over at my, my robot, I can see that the blue LED is flashing on and off just like we expected. Okay. And that is it for this video. Thanks. I'll see you next time. Oh, don't forget, subscribe. Take care. Bye.